There is a lot of hype around artificial intelligence recently. We've discussed how I personally am concerned that AI will put a lot of people out of work. And that is true, by the way. If you work in a field where work can be done better with an algorithm, you've got news, you've got entertainment, much of the arts, some medical fields, some mathematical fields, AI is actually terrifying. I saw this ad for using AI to help you write a novel. And at that point, please just quit. You don't want to be a writer. Yes, and that's another thing. Posers with no talent will use AI to fake talent and the public will likely not know the difference. And the fact that many fields have lost so much quality that they can be replaced by a machine is an indictment of humanity, not the machines. But I digress. <laughs> AI will definitely change the intellectual landscape, the uh, collective hive mind. Some jobs will become extinct while new ones will emerge. However, I don't believe there's going to be some sort of AI apocalypse. There is this term called AI washing, and it's when a company overpromises on their AI capabilities, and they do this to get more funding and to raise their stock price or just to make a sale. Here's this really great article about that. It's from Forbes. So we see here that companies are AI washing. It's basically overstating the importance of AI in their company or how much they use AI. It's kind of bandwagon jumping, this article calls it. They overstate the capabilities of their AI. They use the term intelligent when in fact their software is not intelligent. And they offer very vague definitions of AI. Why do they do this? Because, da, 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 here we go, AI attracts 15 to 50% more investment than those that don't. Now, although AI is very real, there's also a lot of hype. Today's example of AI hype comes from the Amazon store. See, they had promised that artificial intelligence would help shoppers buy with ease. Hey, it's fantastic, but that's not what they delivered. Actually, look at this article. This is from Politico, and they are reporting from The Information, which seems like a great paper, but it's behind a very, very expensive paywall. So basically, Amazon had these stores where they promised you could go in and just fill your cart and AI would check you out. But it turns out the AI was actually just a thousand contractors in India that were looking at the videotape of what you put in your cart and compiling it themselves. So this wasn't AI at all. Amazon uses the excuse that these workers were just training the AI. But what we actually see in this particular circumstance was that the workers were doing all of the work of the AI. Supposed AI. So that's right. The Amazon AI was not a giant after all. It was just a bunch of midgets in a giant's jacket. This visualization is half AI, half Photoshop, because of course humans had to help the AI out because it couldn't understand simple things like, I just want a bunch of children in the Terminator outfit. Can you do that? Can you do that? No. In fact, if you really look at the industry papers, they're saying that 30%, about 30%, give or take, of the hype around AI is just hot air. But because you're honest, you say, why bother lying? That's hilarious. Are you over 20 years old? Haven't you resigned yourself to the fact that people all the time when they could just as easily be honest? And our world actually rewards that. They reward them for lying. They reward it because it pays. It pays social dividends. It pays financial dividends, at least for the elites when they can trick us. So ha, ha at your question. Why would they lie? I laugh at you. I'm just joking because I always think, I'm like, why would you lie about this? Just be honest. But no, no, I laugh at myself. Really, companies lie about AI because they don't want to be left out of the new trend. They don't want to be seen as behind the curb. Also, they want to make money. Say AI in people's eyes, they just gloss over and they hand you more money. Is it just a magic word? I'm wondering if no one really knows what it means, like synergy, but everyone else thinks that everybody else knows what it means. So they just cut a bigger check because they don't want to be embarrassed, kind of emperor's new clothesy. They invest more, they buy more stocks. Synergy, synergy, synergy. Anyway, I actually do imagine the experts know what it means, but I have so little faith in the market's ability to judge anything real. Because what is a stock price? Does it reflect the value of what they've brought to the market this year? What is an IPO? Does it reflect the actual value? Ooh, that's a rabbit hole. That is a rabbit hole. And that's a rabbit hole that makes you really cynical about how the elites make money versus how everybody else makes money and what honesty is expected from the working people, but the complete and utter lack of honesty that goes without much um, punishment from our elites and our business leaders. It's uh, not what this video is about, kind of what this video is about. Oof, it's a little faith that the markets are actually tied to anything real. Plus, 
Plus, I've seen too many experts from respected institutions fail recently that I really just don't know anymore. Do I think that an entire industry would hype up a technology that's only partially successful in order to boost their stock prices and professional prestige? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> in fact, I don't think it's just happened this one time. I think it is the default for modern business, for the modern business world. <sighs> It's 2024. <laughs> I showed this video to me in 2018. She'd be like, no, Maya, people are honest. They'd be like, no, you wait six years. <laughs> You'll see some things in the next six years. So yeah, maybe that's just all of modern business. Good for us. And the fact is that a lot of AI still needs an army of humans to train it, like we saw in this article with Amazon. It depends on us. ChatGPT scours the web looking for human articles and books so it can summarize them. It can't tell us if the information is any good. And as humans become dumber and dumber, which is happening, research the reversal of the Flynn effect, what ChatGPT can take from will increasingly become more useless and become more AI. So it's an AI taking from other AI and nobody knows what it means. In this way, a competent person might end up being worth her weight in gold or their weight in gold. So yes, I see it in my daily life that AI is replacing a lot of people, particularly visual artists and writers. We see BuzzFeed is actually leaning into AI to basically make their content so that they don't have to pay a person to do it. We make fun of them all the time. Writers all the time would just pull from other stuff and piece it together. They're called hacks. The AI is really just a hack. But the hack title should be reserved for humans. I don't know why. If AI can diagnose your cancer better than a human, maybe good. And if AI can replace therapists and it doesn't have the incentive to keep you coming back, it actually wants to heal you, it doesn't have student loan payments, maybe good. And let's be honest, there are plenty of people who would prefer an AI therapist over a human one because an AI therapist is non-judgmental, among other reasons. So if you really want what's best for the consumer really want what's best for the patient, we might need to accept some AI therapy. Now, of course, it's not all great. I'm not saying it's all great, but I'm sure it wasn't great for Giuseppe's horseshoe repair in 1920 either. Silly boy, uh, people always need the horseshoe repair. It's the safe industry. We don't need horseshoe repair anymore. But for thousands of years, everybody needed horseshoe repair. So how is this guy supposed to know? How are we supposed to know? Is new technologies coming out. We're just doing our best. Nobody knows anything. They're all going by the skin of their teeth. Does it, does your teeth have skin? Now, let me ask the AI which idiom is actually correct there. <laughs> I guess my point is, my point is that in 2024, AI is not replacing humans just yet. The AI still relies on humans far too much. And really, this could be better visualized by this image or this image. We've seen it a lot. Whoever said there's nothing new under the sun, AI might be one of these things. It's the same old shit, but faster, huh? <laughs> it's using our human tricks against us, but faster. We're not prepared to have our own bullshit thrown back in our face. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.